And meanwhile, Arizona State fans from right here in the old Pueblo certainly have a smile on their face this evening. Just a day after the Sun Devils huge victory over Duke in the Sun Bowl. Scores of ASU alumni drove four hours east to see the Sun Devils finish the season with 10 victories and keep the Pac-12 undefeated in bowl games at 3-0. Arizona State finished the season with a bang after taking down a 9-3 Duke squad in front of nearly 50,000 fans at the Sun Bowl. Many of them from both the Tucson and Phoenix area. That's, you know, when adversity hits, our team comes together, and that's what uh, championship teams do, and um, you just believe in one another. After Arizona State lost to Arizona, instead of heading to the Pac-12 championship game where the Sun Devils wanted, they ended up here in the Sun Bowl, but wasn't that bad for the Sun Devils. Why is that? After the victory over Duke, they end the season with 10 victories and just three losses. And get this, lots of Arizona State fans made their way from Tucson here to El Paso for the big game. And there were also Tucsonans that attend Duke that made it here to El Paso as well for the big game. You know, there's a huge rivalry between the U of A and ASU, so obviously I grew up U of A fan, um, obviously disdaining. ASU, so to have Duke play ASU, um, it's, 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 you know, it's, it hits home. It's like a, another rivalry. Hey, Duke is my home now, but I was definitely raised a U of A fan. But this time around, these U of A fans slash Tucson natives slash students at Duke saw their team fall to their lifelong nemesis, the Sun Devils. Maybe next year. But hey, for fans here in Tucson at the U of A, there is no waiting till next year. That is because the Territorial Cup remains right here in the old Pueblo, right on campus. All right, back to the Fiesta Bowl. The Arizona defense took center stage on Saturday, and the Cats had the chance to brag a little bit about the emergence of a group of gritty players led by defensive coordinator Jeff Castile. I guess it really doesn't take until, you know, you're getting off the plane, you're getting here, you're, and as far as me, I'm like, dang, I'm home, you know, and I'm being able to play my last college football game. And so over the last few weeks, you know, you're kind of practicing. It kind of feels like camp a little bit because the game's so far away. But then when you really just sit back and you're starting to get all the ball gifts and stuff like that, you're like, okay, this is the real deal. Well, that's all the time we have tonight. I'm Paul Cicala saying thank you so much for tuning in to a special edition of News 4 Tucson Football Extra. Don't go away, my friends. News 4 Tucson Live at 10 starts right now. Investigating for you. This is News 4 Tucson, live at 10.